Okay, for the next DIY project, we have my first cigar box ukulele. Um, also happens to be my fourth homemade string, or excuse me, my fifth homemade string instrument. Um, but of course, this one is made from a cigar box, as you can see there. I found this white cigar box um, at a local shop. The back of it was really nice. I really liked the tone on the back. So I found uh, this, by the way, this is a neck blank from uh, CB Giddy. They sell a, this is a soprano uke, and um, by the way, I, get, I know some people call it an ukulele instead of a ukulele. I don't know which one's correct, but I call it a uke or a ukulele, so. Um, but they sell these neck blanks, and they come basically just kind of roughly shaped, and you cut the bottom, they're a little longer here, you cut the bottom off to the right, you know, and sand them and stain them and what have you, and then I painted the top white to match the box there, the top of the headstock. Um, you can see there's some texture there. I don't know if the light will catch it right, but the wood was just textured to begin with. So rather than sand it out, I just left it textured so it has a little bit of a textured look to it. Um, I put that little thing on the headstock. I got that at a Michaels. It's uh, like a little scrapbooking thing or something and a little craft, craft decoration, but it worked perfect. It's got four just cheap tuners on it. Um, a little ukulele nut there. On the bridge, it's a little bridge. Most of the parts came from uh, CB Giddy Crafter Supply. Um, they certainly sell a lot of this. For the sound holes, uh, I was gonna just drill a big sound hole in the middle, but I didn't want to ruin that pattern, so I just drilled some uh, uh, holes getting smaller on both both sides of the of the design. Um, I put a piezo pickup inside of it. There's the jack. There's no volume knob or anything. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's a very simple build but I really like the way it came out um, stained and varnished on the neck as you can see um, nailed the top shut here so the box is is very sturdy um, the little 13 on the headstock I really think kind of gives it a little flare I'm pretty happy with it overall um, I actually think I'll probably build a couple more ukuleles just because I really like the way this one went together uh, on the inside there is a strengthening block right here that the neck bolts to. As you can see on this particular box, the top is quite thick. So I actually notched it to allow the, the um, screw to pass through into the neck so the screws weren't way down here at the bottom. I wanted to make sure at least one of them was up here in the hefty part of the neck. Um, so I did that and then there's another block right here underneath the bridge to make sure the bridge has something really solid to adhere to. Um, the bridge is glued. I don't know if you can see that. It's it's flush because it's glued to the top, but it's also held in place by these two screws. Um, very simple build, actually. It went together pretty quick. Um, I'm very pleased with the aesthetic. It sounds great, too. So let's go ahead and do a little song on it. Okay, I have pretty much no experience playing a ukulele. Yeah, this is literally the first one I've ever played. But um, when I think of a soprano uke, I think of a uh, kind of tropical islandy type song. So here's a little twisted tropical tune for you. Danced the color of her hair. 
But now I'm locked inside a stall in the cantina Eating a banana licking cocaine off the mirror It's just a little something to get me away from here Bananas and blow Bananas and blow Well I'm stuck in my cabana just to live in on bananas and blow Bananas and blow Bananas and blow Well I'm stuck in my cabana living on bananas and blow Bananas and blow Bananas and blow Well, I'm stuck in my cabana just to living on bananas.